Hey, it's A back on your screen with another vlog. Hope you're all well, better than me. Hopefully I don't look like how I feel, but I did not sleep last night. Sore throat, coughing, 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 coughing. I was literally doing the most this past weekend. So if you wanna see the shenanigans I got into, check out last week's vlog, cause I did a lot and it was so much fun. But the way my throat is sore, I went into office and I'm like, I don't know if I'm contagious or not, but I shouldn't be here. And they're like, yeah, please go home. So I'm gonna work from home today. I'm gonna switch into some yoga clothes because you know I stay in athleisure. I need to get my voice back. I have two pods to prepare tonight. I have to record and edit and schedule them. If you're not already, check out my Patreon, Authentic with A. But yeah, this is gonna be a busy week. I'm excited to share another week of my life with you guys. I hope you're excited for what's in store too. Just let's hope we can get rid of this. But first, oh, 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 before I forget, we got a little bit of time. TTC was behaving itself, so I got home a lot faster than I thought I would. And I did all my morning tasks before I left. Okay, so quick, 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 quick. Do you know what this is? Do -do -do -do. It was 20 to 30% off, so you know I stocked up on matcha. You know how it goes, I can't see what it says, so cue the cutaway. Just a lot of matchas. I also got some herbal tea, and then I got turmeric latte, more herbal tea, and the rest are just matchas, because you know me. Pistachio summer. You can see I'm gonna make some pistachio matcha. I also got this on the weekend, pistachio syrup, to go with my, this is so extra, pistachio coffee beans. Either do it big or don't do it at all. I still got my pistachio liqueur, and it's shaped like a pistachio. I think I even have pistachios up there, but we're not gonna do all that. Let's make it iced. There's only, guys, rest in peace. I broke one of these while I was doing, I was gonna say doing laundry. I was washing my dishes yesterday. I was devastated. These glasses from Crate and Barrel are $10 each, but they're so pretty and they're the perfect size. I wouldn't be a blind pour without a mess. Sometimes my oat milk doesn't foam and I don't know why. As long as it tastes good though. <clears throat> Lord of mercy. <clears throat> I'll be getting a coughing attack on the way up. I told the last couple people, just go up the elevator. I don't want to share the elevator with you, but I got a vacuum. One, two. Oh no, wait, one is missing. I ordered three shoes, four shoes. When you need one, you actually need three, right? Tea is getting everything off my chest. It's so nasty. Okay, but these ones, oh, you see this? This one's not even as bad as the other foot, but the toe is getting mashed up. Similar but different. These ones are like $10 at Forever 21 when it was closing down. Liquidating in Canada. A new pair, hopefully this bottom survives longer than those ones did. They probably fit. I'm a standard 7.5 Steve Madden size. Ooh, they're... And they don't have an adjustment for the slingbacks. That's fine. The only thing is when you wear which shoes, you get which feet. And eventually your feet start to go. Yeah. These ones. So when I was in Atlanta, my cousin had the most pretty pearl sandals I've ever seen. Those are sold out. I want to get my glam on too. Maybe my foot is too flat. The strap's not staying on. But they're so pretty. The one sandal that I really, really wanted has adjustable strap and it's not here. I know I ordered it, so I'm gonna see what's the hold up. Yeah, this, too loose for me. Flat foot problems. You know what? I'm not big on shoes that have the little toe loop. How about you? I feel like it's strangling it. <laughs> Like the toes, like, let me be free. They're comfy though. I can't even lie, but they look crazy on me. They look absolutely crazy. 
from what I can see, because I actually can't really see my feet. This haul wasn't as uh, successful as I hoped. I feel better though. Mm -hmm. Now if I was in Antigua, I would have gone in the actual ocean. Not me falling asleep. I don't even know how long I was napping for, but I probably got sunglass tan lines. Well, whatever. Falling asleep outside was better than being in my bed. I don't know what it is about the sun, and if there was an ocean, I would get in the water, because Antiguans say that the sea cures everything. Anyway, I am feeling a little bit better. I'm scared that the cough will come back at night, because you know, sometimes that's what it does. So I'm just gonna run to the drugstore and head back up, cook some dinner, and that's that on that for today. So I'll check in with you guys. Ooh, no, it's not, because I gotta edit my podcast. Whoop. Well, when that's up, Make sure you rate and review so the algorithm know I'm on the podcast to grow. What a few days will do for you. I feel a thousand times better. The last five, six days nearly took me out. But the sun is shining. I'm just gonna run a quick errand. There is gonna be a, what do they call it? A food truck party by my building. So we're gonna pop by there on the way back up. And then a lot of editing tonight. No, it's it's not even people, it's just well it is people, but just I don't wanna be the only one that's a big hit and gets ice cream first while we wait for pizza. At least I just wait. Yeah, I'm gonna wait. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> this one. Apparently somebody's from that building taking photographs and posting it free pizzas at me. Pass over the He's still in COVID mode. How is it? I never know if people oh. are a vampire. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you were doing that. Nice. Love it. That's awesome. <laughs> I met her when, when they moved here. I actually finished my last can. And Kev got the. What was it called again? Because. Hot Italian. Hot Italian. And then Kim got Visa Hot. And I got. Wow, bad with the lighting. I got the four cheese. Mm -hmm. This is really good. It's sweet. Okay. I didn't expect it to be. I also. This is like traditional. Yeah? I'm full from half of it, so midnight snack for like, woo! Not me trying to take my plant with me. That was a good little treat. I think it's so thoughtful and smart of the building to host events like this for the tenants. I was about to pay, and Kevin's like, it's complimentary. I'm like, wow, okay, I'll take it. <laughs> like I told you guys earlier, Tonight is going to be a night of editing so I can get some content up to you, the TikTok crew, and Instagram too. So I'll see you guys when I see you guys. <laughs> Rude. It's been a while. Yes, it has. I've seen so many pop up in the last week, but I haven't been quick to snag them. I'm like, what's going on? There was like 10 at one time. I know we have these like end of month end, end of month rushes. How much fun to do it on this end? <laughs> Lots of work though. <laughs> yeah, I, I can imagine it was a lot of work. Cause I'm like, in the three years that I've been with Fable, I've never seen that many within like a two or three day period. It was wild. There was so much. Yeah. Um, really traveled around. So I'm like, I, I should probably check out other Canadian provinces. See how I like it. Let me know, cause I've never been. Yeah. Where are you located again? Toronto. Where you are in Toronto? Yeah. Okay, that's right. Me too. That goes really well. My best friend is Scorpio, my best friend in the entire world. Oh. <laughs> that I know. Yeah. Just so straight. A lot of times. Yeah, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say it makes sense that we get along. <laughs> yes. I was going to say a lot of times people are like, oh, Scorpio. And I'm like, come on. Come on. No. As a Cancer, I love me a Scorpio. We balance each other out really well. Now it should be sharing. I can close that. In order to start this task, 
first I'm going to use my keyboard shortcut to zoom in. I like to pan the top left hand corner across to the right as if I'm reading a book. And I see that the icon is in very clean and neat typography, easy to see. Although it is charcoal and I always prefer the darker the better, this is still legible. As I pan to the right, I can see that it says plans, sign up and sign in. And this is in a lighter gray, but still because it is a very simple typography, I can read it. I find oftentimes if it's light and thin or light and italicized, it's harder for me to read even if I'm in zoomed in. I'm gonna use pinch and zoom while already being zoomed with the keyboard shortcut to see if it's any more legible. And it's still the same, very, very clean, not pixelated. I'm gonna momentarily zoom out just so I can scan the screen to see if there's anything I missed. And nope, I've seen everything. So now we're gonna go back in and zoom and we're gonna use the search bar to look up using keyboard shortcuts and see what that populates to. Once I pressed enter, I'm gonna pan down with my two fingers. I have a trackpad because it's better for me as a visually impaired person to be able to pinch and zoom. I always appreciate when a website has a little bit of a teaser text so that you know you're clicking the right thing. I also like that it appears, or is that just me? It looks like the color changes from gray to teal when you hover over it. I don't know if that's just my eyes. Sometimes you can't see that you're clicking with your cursor on the right thing. Once I've clicked in, I'm gonna zoom in again, this time with the pinch and zoom versus the keyboard shortcut, and I can see that I've clearly clicked what I needed to. I like that these instructions are simple, succinct, straight to the point. There's four sentences, and it shows a keyboard shortcut on my camera. I hope it doesn't shut off again because the battery's full. I just changed it. But any, anyway, what was I saying? I feel like I need to sneeze. Thank God I didn't cough during that test because I have a little bit of lift. I don't know why my camera shut off. The battery is brand new, but anywho. What was I saying? Oh, if you're Canadian or American, I'm pretty sure you can apply Fables on LinkedIn so you can check them out. They're always looking for testers. That's why these tests get snatched up so quick. There was 10 over the last week and I only was able to grab one. So every few months I do one or two of these. It's good extra pocket money. I don't know if you can live off of this necessarily because they have more tests at the beginning and end of the month when these companies need to comply with being accessible. So keep that in mind. It's definitely a hustle. And there's so many other positions too because you can also be on the other side. So most of the people who are facilitating the tests, i.e. taking notes and making sure I follow the workflow, all of them so far have been cited. No one I know has been visually impaired, but they still are hiring all over the company. I actually interviewed for an EA role before I got this role. Anyway, all over the place. What I'm trying to say is I think it's a great opportunity for those who are visually impaired to feel a sense of advocacy because you're doing something that pays it for to other people who can't see well. And I've noticed over the last three years as my vision's gotten worse, my ratings have been more ruthless because I'm now operating from a place of needing more. Whereas when I first started doing this, my vision wasn't perfect. You know, I've been legally blind for the last six, seven years, I think. I don't know. I try not to keep track of that, but my vision has been steadily worsening. And especially over the last like six to eight months, it's been bad, bad. Like this has been a huge decrease in a short amount of time. And I've noticed while doing my regular work, how much of a difference it makes. So I feel like I'm making a difference while I'm sharing my experiences going through these websites or apps. And also it's nice to be able to have four streams of income because it's my full-time job, this job, and then it's YouTube and Patreon. But you know, as a visually impaired person, knowing that the statistic is only 10% of people are employed, I am so grateful that I have the streams of income that I have. So your girl's gonna stand her grind. There was a time when I used to work like 60, 70 days in a row in the summertime, multiple jobs. I used to have like three jobs at once and they were all in-person jobs. So, you know, that's the Jamaican in me. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'll check in with you when I do something interesting, but until then, well, I was gonna say take care, but this is not the end of the vlog. Ring-a-ling-ling. -ling. Wow, this is too low, my G.
Good morning, good morning. It is Saturday and I feel a thousand times better. Went to the gym. First time this week, so you know I'm spent. Gym one, Alicia zero. But anyway, I put some Guinness in my hair because it needs it. We're gonna go to the pool a little later today, but first I wanna be responsible and finish editing a vlog and then start editing a next video. Cause I finally have a sit down video for you guys. I'm excited, I hope you like it when it's up. I'm gonna show you my dress, a Z dress. I love that this has come back into style, the skater A-line. This used to be my vibe. You don't even wanna know how old this dress is, but I would try to wear it yesterday, but then by the time I went to go get my nails done, she understood the assignment, by the way. I asked for a milky pink. Look at this. I'm in love. Luna is the best. If you're in the Toronto area, go to Munlock's Nails and ask for Luna because she's the truth. The girl I had last time. Mm -mm. I was looking at my nails like, you know, because I can't actually see them properly. But then when I zoomed in with my phone, I'm like, she rounded them. I haven't had rounded nails since I was 12. I'm not a rounded nails girl. It's square or almond all day, every day. So I'm in love. The way she shaped it is perfection. I hope I don't break any more of my gloves that I use to wash my dishes, but it just does something for my hands. Cause ever since I was little, I've had these like super wrinkly hands. Like, do I have a baby picture to show you? I don't think I even have the baby picture. There's a baby picture of me. Maybe I do actually, hold on. Aw, that's when my dad took me to Ridge Street for lunch. You know the craziest thing is I'm probably a teenager in this picture, but I look like a preteen in that. So you can't tell in this one how old my hands have looked since the beginning of time. But you can see that someone thought it was a good idea to put grape drink in my bottle. Why is that? I'm sure it's not literally Kool-Aid, it's probably Welch's, but still. She grew up to become a nutritionist. And these shoes though, you know I'm an 80s baby. Okay, maybe this one you can see. Can you see? My hands? I had granny hands when I was a baby. Also, is this before I got braces? Are my teeth World War III up in there? I can't tell. And then I was trying to have a little mermaid moment, but I can only find a plastic spoon instead of a plastic fork. It's funny how I remember that. I don't even know how old I was. This is actually really cute, even with the flat head. My dad and I, he's so tall. Oh shoot, part of the picture ripped. Hope it didn't rip on somebody's face. I don't know who that is anyway. My dad and I again. And then, did I just not just show you this? I swear, just, do I have a duplicate? Or I was just holding it, Never mind. That part, okay. But there's one picture. I don't have it. But there's one picture, I swear. I'm probably this old or a little bit older and I'm posing like this. And if you zoom in, the hands look like they belong to a 50 year old woman. It I completely forgot that I had to change the power settings on this camera. Since I had the white one for nearly two years, there's so many settings on there that I forgot that I switched. And I kept asking myself like, why is this camera shutting off? But not even letting me know. And I can't see the recording light to know that it stopped recording. But anyway. That is my cue to get the day started, have some breakfast so we can go down to the pool for a little bit and see what the day brings us. Probably not that much, honestly. What are you taking? Oh. I'm always vlogging. What a day, what a day, what a day. How rude of me, happy Tuesday. Well, depending on what part of Toronto you live in, maybe it won't be a happy Tuesday for you. But by the time this is posted, it'll be in the past anyway. When I tell you it was the apocalypse earlier today, that's what my executive said. It is 3.25, so I'm gonna log back in real quick and try to do as much as I can do by 4.30. I got to the office at 8.20 today. I'm getting better. Earlier is better. I don't do nine to five. I try to do 8.30 to 4.30 because things get crowded and packed and I absorb energy. So when I'm on the TTC and it's all packed up like today, not here for it, okay? The story I have to share with you guys is you can probably not even tell because it's so sunny here. This is why I love living in this part of the city. 
The world was about to end a couple hours ago. So here we are, torrential thunderstorms. Then all of a sudden, doom, 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 doom. Okay, that's a little bit too dramatic, but. All the screens go dark in the office. All the lights are off. And I'm like, okay, is this just our building or not? Nah? Someone looks outside, every building in the financial district, lights out, 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 out. I can't say too much about the industry I work in, just know that I work at one of the top three banks and it's not one and two. But a call was made and it was confirmed that the flooding also impacted the power grid. So parts of Etobicoke as well as the downtown core are out. Not only that, TikTokers gonna do what TikTokers do best and they were posting so quick, like faster than the news was, on the flooding at Union Station, the tunnel to Billy Bishop Airport and where else was there flooding? The DVP. The highway is flooded to the point where you see cars with water up to the roofs. Like, our city doesn't usually flood like that. So this is not normal. This is not Miami here. So I'm there like, mm, is there energy when I go home? Because I got a lot of work to do. Plus, I can't leave until I know my execs are straight. And both of them are flying out today. So I was on the line with Air Canada for half an hour, Porter for 15. Imagine me. Work phone, post no phone, have them both with that really annoying music that they play when they have you on wait. <laughs> Trying to see who I can get through first to confirm flights are leaving on time. Online it said it was on time, but in real life when I got through, they were like, nope, this one's delayed an hour and 20. <sighs> I really don't have to reschedule that stuff, but we shall see. I just, I know when it comes to the line of business I'm in, time is money and my executives do not like to waste one second of it. So I'm gonna log back in, see what needs to be done to wrap up the day. Because it is so sunny in my neighborhood and it's humid, I think I'm gonna either do the laundry first and go to the pool or go to the pool and do the laundry. Yeah, kinda of also want ramen. I don't know why I'm craving ramen because it's so hot. I guess because it was gloomy before and I feel like ramen and like chicken dumpling soup and those type of things are very much like cozy night in or gloomy day type of vibes. But anyway, enough rambling from me. I'm just happy I made it home. Like that was... Mm. The best thing is, at least I'm not stressed. It was just like, when you're visually impaired and you already have to think of so many things, as a visually impaired person when you're working, it's like you don't want anything else unnecessary happening. And it's like, Toronto, get it together. Why is it Gotham? This is my decision. I don't think you listen. You're listening. I don't think you listen. For me to come out, it must be not my teacher. It must be not my decision. It must be not my okay. For me to come out. Hey Siri, set timer for 50 minutes. wanted 50 minutes of good sunlight as I wait for my stuff to finish in the dryer but mother nature has other plans and I'm not trying to get stuck in whatever is brewing because it looks bad those clouds look domineering and the way it was raining downtown today it looks like it already rained up here too but maybe this is round two anywho maybe that's my sign to prep dinner and edit some more it's not ramen no it's not what it's, is it called uh Beef hand pulled noodles. Something oh. like that. Hand pulled Chili noodles. oil. Mm hmm. Dun -dun -dun. It's still boiling hot. It actually. needs to be because it's going to cook the beef, right? The beef's already cooked. Oh, so this is definitely nothing like ramen yeah. or pho. Chili thing there if you want to. Because I'm wearing white. We go. You have the exact same thing? Yeah, just buy one, get one for free. Oh, I thought you could like mix and match. It's no, you have thing. to order the same exact thing. Just mixing the chili. Yeah. Probably could use salt too. No, it's definitely salty enough. But that, oh, okay. I don't salt my food, so this is very salty. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
It doesn't taste sweet like how it smells. It's very yeah. sour, but I like it. Buy me a drink on Saturday. Okay, okay. It said, old Kalani, new Kalani, I'm here for all Kalanis, but let me not get copyrighted. So thoughtful of my amigo. I've been craving ramen, and both he and I have had a week, because yesterday, remember what I said about things being crazy in the city? Well, the line of finance he's in, he's got some pretty high-end clients that he has to make sure are good. And thank God my executives got to where they needed to go late. But okay, so let's have another bite now that I've stirred this up. This is actually so good, but like I was saying earlier, don't know if I'll have to edit that part out for copyright sake because music was playing in the background, but it smells so sweet because of the chili oil, but when you actually take a bite, it's more sour salty. It's very aromatic. The noodles are so tender. It's really good. It's not a bad ramen substitute. If only I could get better at my chopstick game. The part where I'm probably not even in the frame because I can't see the viewfinder though. 